Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to look at a, um, a mini encoder, uh, which is designed for the M5 Stick C computer. And um, I'm going to use it in the garden. So I have, here's my garden, and um, I'm using these water uh, watering units from M5 Stack together with a um, an Atom computer. So uh, when the uh, soil is dry, the Atom computer turns on the pump. But it also needs um, one other thing, and that's a set point. And we'll have a look at set points later on. So this is um, the concept of a set point. It provides stable control over the water level, and it only switches on uh, when it reaches the desired value. So we'll come back to that in a minute. So I'll be using this mind map to uh, navigate through the project and also to have a look at um, some of the details on the mini encoder hat. So um, this is what it is. It's a rotary encoder uh, and it's a base for the uh, M5 Stick C or the um, M5 Stick C plus computer. So it um, integrates the rotary encoder with an AB. The AB means it's able to detect the direction of motion, either forward or reverse. Uh, now, in addition, it has a function button. I won't use that on the project. Uh, and there's also um, Lego holes, uh, which allow you to um, use Lego components uh, on a project. And there's also a, uh, a lithium battery. So you can use this as a handheld device. And that battery not only powers the um, encoder, but it also powers the M56C computer. And I bought this fairly recently uh, for um, just under $8. And it um, arrived a couple of weeks ago. So um, you can see it can be used for other projects like the RGB lighting or for um, robot joints. And uh, here's some more of the technical details. So per revolution, you get about um, 30 pulses, which is not um, very high for a, an encoder, but it's um, good enough for the application that I'll be working on. And if you go down a bit further, you can see in detail uh, how to um, remotely program it. So uh, there's a number of registers and it has its own little computer. And um, here you can get the um, counter and the increment values, the button status, and um, you can uh, use the I to C protocol to uh, access those parameters. But um, we won't be doing that. Um, we'll be using a higher level, we'll be using software and in particular, the um, UI Flow and um, M5 Stack have released drivers and some good examples on how to uh, to use this. Uh, so there's some um, demonstrations available uh, for the Arduino. So you can program this in C++, and there's a uh, nice little demo of doing that. There's also a demo on the UI Flow, and there's uh, firmware. And I think that firmware actually controls the inner computer uh, of the um, in mini encoder. So this is the um, mini encoder hat um, demonstration. So you can see on the top there uh, the uh, very small program, which will read those uh, registers and show them on the M5 Stick C screen. And here's my project. We're going to um, use it in the garden. And um, what I'll do is I'll go through what my objective is, some design features. Well, the hardware I've already covered, there's nothing extra to add other than what I've shown on the screen here, which is the uh, M5 Stick C Plus computer uh, hosting the mini encoder. We'll look at my software and we'll actually navigate that in detail. We'll talk about my results, some issues, and some references. Uh, so uh, we'll go back to uh, the objective. 
here I want to make a handheld controller uh, that sets the water set point and the light set point. Uh, and the water one is for controlling uh, water pumps in the garden. And uh, I'm going to use it for up to 13 pumps in the garden. And it's going to transmit the results over Wi-Fi and the MQTT protocol. So um, my house Wi-Fi will also be used in this project. So um, in the garden, um, I'll be uh, using uh, using the uh, rotary wheel uh, to um, set the set points. And when I press button B, I select a parameter that I'm interested in. So um, if I want to uh, look at water, I uh, just uh, keep on pressing button B until a W comes up on the screen. Or if I want um, a light, it, it should be L there for light and P for publishing the results. And um, I can select the pump uh, by pressing button A. So I just toggle through all the pumps until I get the pump that I want. And the uh, protocol uh, that I'm using sets up a topic. So um, there are two topics. One is the uh, water set point, and that's WSP, and there's the light set point. And um, using this uh, MQTT command, these commands here are used in the uh, UI flow program. So this is um, the uh, UI for the screen. So I set up the program name right on the top there. And under that, there's parameters. So if it's W for water, L for light, and P for publish. So under that, there's the pump number that I've selected, and there's the set point. And um, it's going to be used to uh, control the set point in the pumps at the moment for the Atom computers. And here's the total program. So we'll actually go through that in stages, but um, overall there's a, a setup and just under that, there's the main loop that just continues forever. And in the middle, there's the event programming for button A, button B. Then um, we then process for setting water, setting the light or publishing. And then on the right, there's just the initialization routines for the variables. So let's have a look at setup. So I'm setting the um, the SSID of my Wi-Fi uh, and also the uh, the password. And um, once it's connected, it moves through and shows a blue color on a small circle that I've got on the screen. But after that, we then set up the MQTT connection and. Um, we start the MQTT service. After that, we then initialize the variables and the encoder address, and we're setting the counter to 500. And we have to repaint the screen. Uh, in the main loop, we uh, get the status of the, um, the button, and um, we then set that to 500. And if the parameter is water, we then set water. Or if it's light, we set the light um, process. Or we go to another function, publish, as long as the publish flag has been set. And uh, right at the end of that uh, loop, we then um, uh, put the pump number on the screen. And uh, here, because the MQTT uh, routine hides the labels, we have to repaint the screen. So all we've got to do is just show the labels that were already painted onto our um, screen. To initialize the variables, you can see there's quite a number of them here. Uh, there's the program name, there's the topic prefix, and that's used by MQTT, and there's the set points. So we've got the initial values there for water and for light. And uh, we're going to use arrays uh, for the 13 pumps. And here we're setting the initial values uh, in the array. 
And we're using the pump number as an index uh, for these arrays. Now, in the event programming, when we uh, press button A, uh, we then cycle through until we get a maximum of the number of pumps, and uh, we use that to select the pump number. And button B is used to select the, uh, the parameter, whether we want to um, set up for water or light or to publish. And if we're publishing water and light, we just take the uh, counter value uh, and we're using that uh, to put it into the array depending on the uh, the pump number so we're using the pump number as a um, as an index and we show all of that um, on the screen and uh, if we select um, publish uh, we set up this um, a hybrid command we're actually putting together both the topic uh, which includes the pump number and um, we've got a part of the prefix is WSP for the water set point or LSP for the light. And we take the uh, values from the array using the pump number as an index. And we then just send that, we transmit it on MQTT. And here's the results. So we've got um, MQTT, uh, which is on my Windows PC, and it's connected to the home MQTT server. So, um, We've been able to successfully uh, make a handheld controller and it's setting the water set point uh, for the garden pumps. And also in future, I'll be using it um, for light set points to can automatically switch on the light when the uh, light exposure level is below a certain value. And we're showing those values on the screen and we've got MQTT working. So some of the issues, I've had to um, uh, repaint the screen because of the uh, the quirk of MQTT and Wi-Fi uh, shutting off the screen. But um, just that one uh, simple function there uh, allows me to repaint the screen. And um, I was able to uh, use two arrays, one for the pump and the other for the light set points. And uh, here are my references. So the, uh, this will all be used for the Blacktown Environmental Workshop, which happens next Thursday. And it will be the basis for a new series of uh, STEM projects in the STEM club for both Parramatta, uh, Chatswood, and also for um, Blacktown in term four in 2023. So if you're interested, go across to the M5 stack. There's a wiki there where you can get more details on how all this works. Stay tuned, and I'll give you a live demonstration uh, of the mini encoder. Here we have the uh, new M5 stack mini encoder, and it's a hat for either the... Um, M5 Stick C or the um, M5 Stick C Plus computer, and um, while it's got a battery in the back, you can use it as a handheld device. So it just plugs in, and I've got another one on a um, uh, Stick C Plus, and um, it's going to set the uh, points for water and uh, light. Uh, in the garden so um, at the moment it's on uh, P for publish but if I want to change the parameter I just press button B and now we've got water it's now 66 now um, if I just change the dial here I'm going to change that to 70 and I'm going to do the same with light so that there, there's water and there's light so light I'm going to uh, set that to um, 80 Okay, so it's now, they're the set points, and all I have to do is publish them. Press button B again, and it's now publishing those results. 
and if we go across to um, uh, MQTT Explorer you can see that we've set the uh, the points have been uh, transmitted and received uh, by the uh, MQTT server and that's the um, mini encoder uh, being used to set the uh, water and the light set points uh, for garden plants.